in arithmetic ability topic is square and square root hi friends so this topic i'll explain you the complete information which is related to square and square roots now this will be helpful for you in any competitive exams now uh, before that so if you see this uh, website foundation for it.com so in this website you can see some more other information or material is completely free of cost now you can subscribe this channel and go to this site for other model papers and some other worksheets okay then after explanation of all the theory part in square and square roots so let us discuss this uh, one of the worksheet or example model paper some important papers some important question pa uh, papers which will come for any exams so there are some practice papers are there these all practice papers also you can download directly by clicking the link in description below okay so let us start the topic now square and square root first we will see the square When a number is multiplied by itself, the product is known as the square. There's a definition. Any number, if you take 2, when its 2 is multiplied by itself, then the product is the square of that particular number. So now 4 is the square of 2. Therefore, 4 is square of that particular 2. Any number you can divide or multiply. 12 is a number is multiplied by itself that is 144 so 144 is a square of the number is 12 4 into 4 is 16 so the same number when you multiply it will get same one now that particular number is a square of that the given number which you took to multiply itself Now see the square root. The square root of a given number is that number which when multiply by itself equal to the given number. Same thing, just to how we write square, you can write the square root. Now we write as 4 square is equal to 16. So 16 is the square of 4 and 4 is the square root of 16. So here 4 square is 16. So 4 is square root of 16. Because 4 4 is a 16. Similarly, oh, if you take 6 is the square root of 36. Because 6 is a 36. So based on square and square root, the symbol we can write as square root is square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 49 is 7 because 7 7 is a 49 and 6 6 is a 36. So I'll write you some important points which are related to the square and square roots. Like for example in terms of variables if you take root x into y that is square root of x into square root of y so we can separate it the product we can separate it so example square root of if you take 30 now you can write 30 we can write as a product of 5 into 6 so we can split it so root 5 into root 6 so root 30 we can write as root 5 into root 6 similarly not only multiplication even you can do a division also square root of x by y is equal to square root of x by square root of y okay this one is not applicable for addition or subtraction for example square root of x plus y this is not equal to square root of x plus square root of y similarly difference square root of x minus y 
is not at all equal to square root of x minus and square root of y. Right. So these are the properties, some important points which are by using square and square roots. So perfect square. few examples I'll explain then we'll go for example problems which are given here now how to find the square root of a particular number now you check finding the square root of any number which is perfect square so before that you'll see what is perfect square A natural number is said to be perfect square if it is a square of some natural number that means 4 is a perfect square because 4 we can write 2 into 2 16 is a perfect square because we can write some number see multiply number 16 225 is perfect square 15 into 15 is 225 so these are all the perfect squares so as a definition a natural number is said to be perfect square if it is square of some natural number same thing you can take 9 is a perfect square because 3 into 3 is 9 so like that let me explain some key points in this The important things especially now uh, any competitive exams the number ending in number ending in two three seven or eight two three seven or eight is never a perfect square So perfect square numbers all no units places either 2, 3, 7 or 8. You got this point. For example, 81 is a perfect square because 9 nines are. But like now his ones place is 1. Now like previous example you see 225 units place is 5. So but in case the units place is 2, 3, 7 or 8. It is not at all a perfect uh, perfect square. It's never be a perfect square. One point. Then square of even number also even. Square of the odd numbers is also the odd. For example, three square is nine because three is odd number and square of the three is also odd. And 2 is an even number, 2 square is also even. Okay, this is also one of the rule. Now, if you take 10 square is 100, and 60 square 3600, because you can take only just 6, 6, 6, 6 and 0, 0, 2 times you can write. The number of zeros in the end of the perfect square is never odd. Okay, this means the number of zeros at the end they never be odd only either 2 or 4 like the digits will come now 25 0 0 0 0 this is a perfect square 25 100 is also perfect square 25 also perfect square here number of zeros are 2 here number of zeros are 4 so they must be even number so the number of zeros in the end of a perfect square is never odd. So they never be odd numbers. Always they will be even numbers. So some more points I will explain. So this all uh, objective purpose 
uh, to say the direct answer instead of doing so much calculations these key points are helpful Now before afterwards, first let me explain how to find out the square root of any number in shortcut methods. Finding square root. So there are two methods to find out the square root of any given number. For example, if they'll give some perfect square, now how to find out. Now let us take one example six. 64,009. Now we have to find out the square root of 64,009. Now for the same, the same question, there are two methods. In two methods, I'll explain. So, which is very easy that we can follow in exam point of view. One is factor method, one is division method. So one is factor method and one more is division method. So factor method is a prime factorization. First we should do prime factorization of the given number. Now first we will take one simple number and we will find out. Then we will take this 64,009. Let us take an example. So what you know, okay, 625 I took, 625. So factor method is, we should do prime factors. The first prime number is 2. So 2 is not divisible by 625. So divisibility rules I explained in previous video, you can uh, watch it. Now next prime number is 3, next prime number is 5. So we can divide, it, divide by 5. 5 on the 5. 1, 5, 125 is 625. Again, 5 table. 525 is 125. Again, 5 table. 5, 5 is 25. And 5 on the 5. Finally, 625 I can write in the product of primes. 5 to the power 4. So that I can write 5 power 2 whole square. So 5 power 2 is 25. So 25 whole square. So 625 is 25 square. That means square root of 625 is equals to 25. So square root of 625 is 25. Same question if you see our division method. 625. So division method is uh, we have to divide. Before dividing, any number is given from right side you should take two two digits and you can mark on top so like two two digits from right side units place and tens place ones again every two two digits now here only one digit is left finally now now this is six six is a perfect near which perfect square it's near near perfect square is two two is a four so the nearest perfect square you should divide because 3 3 is a 9 it cross so 2 2 is a 4 1 1 is a 1 but is 6 right 2 2 is a 4 again 3 3 is the same here and here should be the same number 2 2 is a 4 now if you subtract this is 2 now this full set we can take down 25 now again I continue this division now this is 2 right this is you should multiply the 2 that means whatever number we should double it that is 4 now in 4 and 225 so here 4 is tens place now we can check same number 45 Pfizer because here and here should be same number like 41 ones are 42 twos are 43 threes are like that you have to check until you get this number so 45 Pfizer is 225 Remainder 0. Until you get remainder 0, I should do. Now, after getting 0, the balance is left. What is left is a perfect uh, square root of that number. Okay, let us take this uh, num big number. 
64,009. Now let us take 64,009 and we'll do division method. 64,009. So division method I'll explain for this problem. So according to condition, we should take two two digits from units place. So here only one is left. So 49 and this is 6. First set is 6. So 6 is the nearest perfect square is 4 because it's less than 6. So 2 to the 4. Then 6 minus 4 is 2. Then complete set we should take down. That is 40. Then whatever number is this, whatever number is here, we should make double it. If it is 2, 2 to the 4. If it is 3, again 3 double is 6. If it is 6, the double is 12. So write your right. Now this is 2. So I am making double. That is 4. Because into 2. 4 we got. Now same number. 240. 41 1's are. 42 2 are which is near that you are check 41 into 1 42 into 2 43 into 3 so here both places should be same 44 into 4 which is near to 240 okay 45 into 5 45 into 5 you can check it 5 5 is a 25 22 so 225 then if you subtract it's 15 the next set you should take down next set is 09 now this is 45 we got so always units place should be double now 45 means units place is this is 40 plus 5 always units place if you double it that is 10 now 10 add to this 50 so we should take 50 now Again 501 into 1, 502 into 2. So because this place should be occupied. 503 into 3. Now if you take you know, 503 into 3. Take 503, 3 is There is 1509. Remainder is 0. So square root of uh, 64,009 is 253. Therefore square root of 64,009 is equals to 253. So this is the division method. So some other videos are there uh, by explaining the square root in both methods in the same uh, channel. So you can go through them some more clarity if you want. Now let us see this uh, example, some worksheet. Yeah, this is only first question. I just explain now. 64,009 perfect square root of 64,009 is 253. So I'll explain uh, these some important questions which are related to square and square root. We'll continue these problems. 15, 16, 17. Yeah, approximately around 21 sums still there is some more exercise so first exercise first exercise i'll explain then second exercise you can try if you can download these all uh, worksheets or exercise papers in the website which i showed here okay now in this you can go through and you can see you can download and practice the worksheets also okay second one Okay, 6,250 6, by square root of question mark is equal to 625. Six thousand two hundred fifty by square root of the question mark I am taking some x is equal to 625. Okay, to solve this just you do cross multiplication. There is no demand is 1. Cross multiplication you just do it. That means 6250 into 1 is equals to 625 into square root of x. 
so 625 take left side 6250 into 1 is 6250 by 625 is equal to root x okay 625 1 the 625 10 it cancel 10 is equal to root x now we need only x value so do squaring on both sides squaring on both sides so 10 square is equal to root x whole square so square and root get cancelled that is x so x is equal to 10 square so 10 square is nothing but 100 okay x is equal to 10 square now that is equals to 100 okay just by applying cross amplification you can solve this let us see third one if root square root of 3 power x is equal to 729 square root of 3 power x square root of 3 power x is equal to how much 729 just you can remove the square root both sides that means whole squaring on both sides here because we need to remove the square root so squaring on both sides so square root of 3 power x whole square and 729 whole square the square and square root get cancelled 3 power x is equal to 729 power 2 now to find out x value we should make the base as same so here is 3 and here is 729 so 3 power x as it is 729 also we can write 3 to the power some value if you don't know just go uh, do prime factorization method 729 because obviously 3 will come as a base 3 table 3 2 is a 6 12 3 4 is a 12 3 3 is a 9 again 3 table 3 8 is a 24 and 3 1 is a 3 3 27 is a 81 again 3 9 is a 27 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 is a 3 so you see how many 3's are there overall 6 so 3 power 6 whole square this you can write 3 to the power 6 into 2 so because 6 into 2 is 12 3 to the power 12 so 3 power x is equal to 3 power 12 so x is equals to 12 x value is 12 the value of fourth one the value of root 288 by square root of 128 2 by 3, 3 by 2, 5 by 4, none of this. We will try cancellations, we will get answer. I explain here one formula starting. Square root of, uh, yeah, this one. Square root of x into y is equal to square root of x into square root of y. Otherwise, square root of x by y is equal to square root of x by square root of y. We are apply here together. Square root of 288 by square root of 128 so on the same square root 288 by 128 so do cancellations don't do division 2 table 264 so this is 2 144 so yes so root 144 by root 64 we know root 144 value is 12 because 144 is perfect square 64 also perfect square that is 12 by 8 obviously 12 by 8 is 4 table 4 2 is a 4 3 is a so 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is the answer for that fifth one root 248 under square root again one more square root as there so that we can solve square root of fifth one 
the value of root 248. Two forty eight plus square root of fifty two plus again square root of one forty four. We know this is twelve, so directly twelve we can write. We can continue the process. Two forty eight plus square root of fifty two plus twelve is sixty four. Again sixty four is the perfect square. So square root of two forty eight plus root sixty four is eight. 248 plus 8, 256. Now, square root of 256 value we need to find out. So, according to options, so options they have decimals 16.6, 18.2. Obviously, they are not only 14 square and 16 square. You can do directly root 256 value is 16. So, you can check it otherwise do prime factorization 256 to table. 1 28 again 2 table 64 this is 8 8 so that you can take finally 2 square and 8 square 2 square into 8 square we can write 2 into 8 whole square so that is 16 square so square root of 256 is 16 we can do prime factorization method Otherwise, even division method also to find out the perfect squares, square root of the perfect square. Answer is uh, 16. This is sixth one. Root 1 plus p by 144 is equal to 13 by 12. Then p is equal to dash. I'm taking square root of do uh, LCM in this 1 plus p by 144 so 144 is the LCM 144 plus 1 because 1 means 1 by 1 144 plus p is equal to 13 by 12 so do all squaring squaring on both sides squaring on both sides if you do 144 plus p by 144 is equal to 13 square by 12 square because square and root are cancelled. 13, 13, 0. 169 by 144. So denominators are same. So obviously this numerator also must be equal. So 144 plus p is equal to 169. Then p is equal to 169 minus 144. You can subtract this 25. 169. Yeah. So p is equal to 25. And seventh and eighth sums are some similar. Question I'll explain you. Let us six seventh square value of root six plus root six plus root six so on up to infinity. Then how to find value? Let us take here. First one is square root of 6 plus 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 so on up to infinity this. So no ending. Infinity we can take the value. Now whatever given question let this is equal to some x. Then square root of 6 plus. See here, obviously, this also same like again x only because root 6 plus root 6 so on. So, in the place of this all, I am taking x because this is as it is x is equal to right side is x again same. If you observe first to 6 as it is from root 6 onwards, this is again like question. So, question as it is, uh, we are taking some x. Now keep in the place of x is equal to x. We'll try to solve this. Squaring on both sides. Square root of 6 plus x is equal to x. All square on both sides. Square root get cancelled. 6 plus x is equal to x square. Now we'll get some quadratic uh, equation. So x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. 
all the values if you take on site. So let's uh, do quadratic equation finding roots x square and this is minus 6 is equal to 0. So minus x I am splitting into two parts minus 3x plus 2x. So how to find the roots of quadratic equation you can see some other video if you want. If you know I can continue this x square so minus x I split into minus 3x plus 2x then take the common from first two terms from first two terms and next two terms if you take x common x minus 3 plus 2 common x minus 3 is equal to 0 so this method is uh, finding roots in a quadratic equation x minus 3 is common for all x and plus 2 is equal to 0 so x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 2 3 or minus 2 so which option is given according to the you can take x is equal to 3 or minus 2 yeah 3 or minus 2 but it's plus 2 no? so it's a plus 3 3 or minus 2 both are option, correct according to option or 3 similarly can do even for this also Just solve one more. Ninth one. If a is equal to 0 0.1, then root of a square plus 1 plus 2a. Just to substitution, nothing there. Square root of a square. a is equals to 0 0.1. Okay, a is equal to 0 0.1. 0 0.1 we can write 1 by 10. 1 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.1. a square plus 1 plus 2a square root of a square is a is 1 by 10 right a square means 1 by 10 whole square that is 1 by 100 plus 1 plus 2 into a a is 1 by 10 so 2 by 10 so this is 1 by 1 we can write now just to do LCM square root of 100 110 is 100 1 plus 100 plus 10 in 100 10 times 10 into is 20 this is 121 by 100 root 121 is 11 root 100 is 10 that is 1.1 just if you are simplify now you see the 10th one 10th one is root square root of 4 into square root of 4 into square root of 4 and so on. Same logic will apply this also. For 10th. Okay, let us root 4 into square root of 4 into square root of 4 up to infinity. Infinity, that is, take some x. That means first to root 4 as it is. The rest of part also take x. That is equal to x again. Because this remaining is also same like quotient. Root 4, root 4 till infinity. Now root 4x is equal to x. Apply squaring on both sides. Root 4x whole square is equal to x square. Here you get cancel square and root. 4x is equal to x square. So 1x you can cut, then x is equals to 4. Yeah. We'll get the 4 for this. Some other sums when they are giving decimals also we can find out the square root. Square root of 0 0.16. We can write in fractions. So square root of 0 0.16 to 0 0.16 we can write 16 by 100 because in fractions so root 16 by root 100 root 16 is 4 and root 100 is 10 
So 4 by 10 is again 0 0.4. It's fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Conversion of this 0 0.4. Twelfth is root seven one seventy six plus square root of two thousand four hundred one. If you can remember the big number square roots, okay. Otherwise, you'll do the division method or prime factorization method to find out the square root. So, in twelfth one, let me explain here. Question is square root of one seventy six. Square root of 176 plus again square root of uh, 2401. 2401. So square root of 176 plus we must know root 2401. So what you'll take? You'll take 2401. Okay, I'm explaining division method from right side 2 2. From right side 2 2, we can take. 24 is the nearest perfect square 6 6 is 36 it's more than that right then 5 5 is 25 even though it's uh, 24 is less then 4 4 is a 16 so 24 minus 16 is 8 next to set you can take as it is 0 1 then 4 becomes double 8 so in 81 ones are 82 twos are I read check 81 ones are 81 8 is here same one more number here and here same should come just we can check it 89 into 9 let us see this 9 is 81 8 8 not 1 so 9 89 9 is 801 that means here is left is 49 so 49 is a perfect square root. Huh? So 49 is the square root of 2401. That is 49. 176 plus 49. So you can add this both. 15. 225. Root 225 is 15 square. So 15 is a square root of 225. So final answer is 15. 15, 15, okay. Yeah. 15 is the answer for this. Square root of, let me see 13. Square root of root uh, 272 whole square minus 128 square. This one. Square root of, so we only must write square symbol. Square root of 272 square minus 128 square. This is like a square minus b square formula. a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. So this formula will apply. That is root of 272 plus 128 into 272 minus 128 272 plus 128 that is uh, 10 10 400 and that is 400 into 272 minus 128 you can subtraction you can do 272 128 subtract 12 minus 8 is 4 6 minus 2 is 4 144 so square root of 400 into 144 that is separate the square root square root of 400 into square root of 144 square root of 400 is 20 144 is 12 so 12 into 20 is 240 so 240 is the value for this. Fourteen. Yeah. This fourteen and all just we can do LCM. We'll get the answer. Thirty-four by eighty-one minus one by nine. So 
similar sums 15 okay let me see this other question the digit in units place of root 15,876 is dash. So first you will find out the square root of 15,876. Then you can find out the units place. Let me explain here. square root of 15,876 so in that units place you have to find out 15,876 876 so we need to find out the square root of this first after finding square root then after getting answer you get some answer right in that we need to find out the units place so let me solve this in division method 15,876 we should take two lines two two digits from units place one two and here only one is left now if you observe it is only one so one is a perfect square only one one's a one because again two two's a four it takes more one minus one is zero the next set is 58 then this one should be double so here one should be double is two you can write two here down now in two table means 21 ones are 22 twos are I read check okay 20 here and here same number 22 twos are 44 because 23 threes are it will be more than 58 now 8 minus 4 is 4 5 minus 4 is 1 next set if you take down 76 here is the important thing is 22 now so only the units place should be double that is 22 we can write 20 plus 2 this 2 if you double into 2 so 4 we should add to this so 24 now in 24 table Always units place should be double and add to the tens value. That means this is 24. Now 241 into 1. Let me check. 24 we got. This place as well as next place should be same number. So what will come? 241 1's are 242 2's are 246 6 are 14 76 will come remainder is 0 so 126 is the value so square root of 15876 is equals to 126 now they are asking units place units place is 6 so 6 is the answer for us units place of this is 6 now 16th one, one sum I explained earlier, just to applying this perfect square of values. Square root of 14 minus, okay if you see, root 14 minus square root of 21 plus square root of 19 minus, square root of 9 is 3. Okay, this square root 9 is 3. 19 minus 3, root 14 minus square root of 21 plus that is 16 16 is next step it is 4 remaining 21 is as it is minus 14 so square root of 14 minus 21 plus 4 is root 25 okay. square root of 14 root 25 is 5 14 minus 5 is 9 root 9 is 3 just to applying the square root value, you will get the answer. 3. Let us see this, some more questions. Last 4. If uh, a into b is equal to a plus b plus square root of ab, 
find the value of a into 125 just applying formula so this said in the place of a5 in the place of b 125 same if you apply the condition of this formula condition 5 star 125 25 there is a plus b so 5 plus 125 plus root 5 into 125 so 5 plus 125 plus root 5 into 125 is 625 125 and 5 is 130 root 625 is 25 because 25 is a square root of 625 there is 155 130 plus 25 is 155 So 155 so similarly you can do even this 18 also so if you do that 18 you get some 13 also yeah. you get 4 5 into 12 so there is some simple logic and link in this that is 2 3 you are getting square root of uh, 13 so what we can take if you take 2 square plus 3 square 4 plus 9 and root 13 is coming 3 into 4 is and that means 3 square plus 5 square again root 225 uh, 25 will come similarly 3 in this symbol the symbol notation is this square root of 3 square plus 4 square 9 plus 16 and root 25 that is 5 so we got 5 same logic will apply even for 5 star 12 that is square root of 5 square plus 12 square square root of 5 square is 25 is 144 169 root 169 is 13 that's why I said 13 also Nineteen is uh, root five is two point two three six. Then value of one by root five. One by square root of five. Instead of doing division decimal numbers, one by root five value you have to find out. So do root five by root five multiply and divide. This is called rationalizing denominator. So root five by root five into root five is five root five square. That is five. Now root 5 is 2.236 by 5. Now 2.236 divided by 5. You can do division. If you get division, you get 0 0.447. Because 2.236 by 5 is 0 0.447. Okay. Now let me explain some of this uh, decimal type of uh, square roots. Root 0 0.01. Let us take this whiteboard. This one uh, root 0 0.01 plus square root of 0 0 0.01 plus square root of 0 0.0064 we can write in decimals oh sorry fractions square root of 64 by 1 2 3 4 zeros because after point is a four digits so 64 by 10,000 we can write this also 0 0.0 and also 1 by 100 if you separate the square root root 64 by square root of 10,000 square root of 
1 by 100 plus root 64 is 8 and root 10,000 is 100 because 100 into 100 is 10,000. Now square root of 1 by 100 plus 8 by 100. That is 100 is a LCM 1 plus 8. Root 9 by 100. Root 9 is uh, 3. Root 100 is 10. That is 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 is the value for this. 0 0.3. Next, this one root 32 plus root 48 by root 8 plus root 12. So, you can do some cancellations part if you apply, we can get this out. Now, your denominator is root 8 plus root 12. You should make some same numerator, same denominator also should get in numerator place. Let me take this question root 32 plus root 48, right? root 38 root 32 plus root 48 root 48 by root 8 plus root 12 So root 8 plus root 12 also should get the same like in numerator. Let us uh, split this 32 because 8 is there, right? So 8 into what we can write? You can write 4. Root 48. So 12 into 4 we can write by root 8 plus root 12. If you split that root 8 into root 4 plus root 12 into root 4 by root 8 plus root 12 so root 4 you can take common in numerator root 4 if you take common root 8 plus root 12 is left by again root 8 plus same root 12 so this part will get cancelled so root 4 is left root 4 is the perfect square of it's the square root of Root 4 is 2. Then in practice exercise 2, some more questions you can see here. Mostly some are related to the same like exercise 1 type of questions only. If you know the division method or at least a prime factorization method, finding the perfect square root of the given number, then it is very easy. So some questions, yeah, mostly same questions. Even C A, we can substituting. Twenty. So, so one more example. Exercise two is there. Now you can download this uh, exercises, and you can try for getting the answers. You can see the solutions also. If you want the solutions of which you are not getting. In the description below so in this video description the link is there that click on the link you will directly redirect it to this website then in this site you can find out all the solutions of the topics not only this remaining topics also you can find out so subscribe this channel and this website is not only for only competitive exams even for ICC, CBS, CBS, intermediate including MSAT, JE all the material is completely uh, free so you can go to that uh, site as well as you can practice some more worksheets and some more example questions some other link to uh, materials also you can refer and go on through so i hope you understood well and subscribe to this channel if you did not do and for any updations we will update you early so thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day bye bye